campus is full of a lot of amazing students, and recently, two of them took the steps to start their own business. Junior Faith Landis recently started a second-hand clothing store, and Senior Lily Kelly recently started a soap shop. I started probably around after quarantine started. I just sold, I had nothing to do, so I just decided to sell some stuff in my closet that I didn't wear. And after like a month or two, I started taking it seriously and like sourcing the items. Her clothing shop is called Thrifting is for Cool Kids, and she uses the app Depop to sell her clothes, and she is very successful on the app. With nearly 6,000 followers, over 350 items sold, and 186 five-star reviews. I saw a lot of like vintage pieces and just stuff that doesn't fit me personally that I get from different places. I just, I like doing it, it's so fun. Faith starts by sourcing each piece from either a vintage or thrift store or online. She then fixes up each article of clothing, models it, posts the pictures and the information, sells it, and packages each order. So everything on my shop is like sustainable or secondhand, so it's not committing to like carbon and stuff. And so I um, normally package up the item. I write a little thank you note on like a couple of vintage postcards I have. That's how I write my thank you notes. And so I just put it in the package with the item and put the shipping label on and put them in my mailbox. And it goes off to the person. Faith also makes her own clothes, such as the shirt in this picture. And she sells nearly everything from vintage dresses to purses to shoes to hair scarves. But running this business is no easy job for this junior. I go to school and I have work right after, so finding time to model the clothing, um, take pictures of it, edit all the pictures, and then like create a post for the item and sending out all the packages as well. It can take a lot of time to do, especially with school and homework and stuff too. But it's not it's not the same every day. Like some days I don't make any sales and then some days I can sell like seven things. So it's, it can be a downer when you don't sell anything one day, but then the next day you can sell a bunch. And yeah. Lily Kelly recently started Lil's Shop Laza and sells handmade soaps. Um, I started it probably about two and a half months ago. I was just always going through Etsy and seeing how everybody would constantly be making their own stores and shops and everything. And I was like, I really want to do that. I've been saying that for like a few years and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Pretty much if someone wants a special kind, I'll make it. So I have a bunch of different scents and colors. She sells a number of different soaps and they are constantly changing. She allows for pickup for local buyers and ships the soaps to the rest of her customers. Running the shop is definitely a unique experience between high school and COVID-19. So with COVID, it actually kind of made it easier to manage because I was home a lot. And then with school, it is a little bit harder, but I just stay up later at night to make more because it's not like a huge process, but it can be. And since I do athletic training, I'm there later. Both Lil's Shop Laza and Thrifting is for Cool Kids are off to very strong starts despite some obstacles. For Hempfield Happenings, this is Autumn Rhodes.